Hi, Joe Weikert again with O'Reilly back at Books and Browsers, and I managed to pull aside Corey Mencher, who spoke yesterday. He's the co-founder of Findings, and actually it's one of the most exciting services I've seen in quite a while. So, Corey, can you kind of give the audience a little bit of a background on what this was all about? Yeah, well, Findings is a service that allows you to capture, store, search, and share highlights from uh, your eBooks and from the web. We're focusing on the Kindle right now for eBooks. Uh, you can share these highlights out on social, uh, other social networks, and you can also follow other people's timelines so you can discover new reads and people uh, that you find it have similar interests for your reading. Yeah, and I guess the thing that I love most about it, even though I've got a bunch of Kindle highlights that I'll, I'll import to it, it's more the ability to clip pieces of web pages, because I use Instapaper all the time, but that captures the whole article, and what I want to do is just grab the, the highlights that I'm really curious about, and to me, that's one of the biggest differences between what you're doing and what they have, right? Right, well, we believe text is text, and everything you read, uh, you're passionate about, so it, no matter if it comes from a book or from the web, you're interested in it, so we would like to capture that as well. Mm -hmm. We're interested in that, that atomic unit of interest as opposed to the entire document. Mm -hmm. And you, you, like you said, you serve up uh, the, the Kindle highlights now. Any plans in the future to support other types of reader apps and devices? Absolutely. As long as the data is available, we want to we want to be able to access it. Uh, the Kindle just made it easy, and it's also the largest platform. Uh, it was a great one to start with. But as this data becomes available through other ebook reading platforms, uh, we would love to integrate with them. So uh, since you do support both web clippings, basically, and Kindle highlights, and I know the service is still pretty new. Has there been much of an imbalance between one or the other as far as what people are using it for? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been seeing a lot more book clippings come in as people create accounts and sync their Kindle highlights. Uh, we have about 54,000 book highlights right now and only about 900 web clips. Uh, but I definitely see that changing as people uh, get past that initial account creation and they start clipping from the web. We'll probably see greater growth from the web. But who knows? It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing, too, I wanted to ask is, I think it's great because it's going to be a go-to resource for me as I put all of my web clippings in there to think, oh, where did I hear about this or where did I read about that before and to be able to have instant access to it. Um, but, you know, one of the things I was thinking about is as you're able to capture that kind of information about my habits, will you be able to use that to suggest related types of articles and information for me as a reader? Uh, yeah, well, we, the data is definitely valuable. and We, we could see a uh, very useful recommendation engine because we'll have uh, better insight into what interests you within what you read, not just the, uh, the documents that you're reading, the books that you're reading, but what inside of them you find interesting and want to share. So uh, the, that data is going to be useful for uh, potential recommendation engines and other uses. We're, we're going to see how it goes very early. Terrific. Corey Mencher from Findings, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And again, I want to encourage everybody out there watching to check it out at findings.com. Really cool service.